This video will look at our connections for Hot Rod profiles, as well as show how to generate their respective drawings. First we will look at a variety of connection types, including base plates, splice plates and beam to beam connections. All of these are found within the modeling tab in the ribbon. Go into the joints menu and select connection details. In here, go to the Hot Rod folder. We will begin with adding in base plates, so go into the base plates and end cap subfolder. Now choose the base plate type you wish to use by double clicking its thumbnail. Now select the columns the base plates that be added to and confirm. A properties window will appear. You can now alter the thickness, length and width of the base plate itself, as well as choosing the bolt type used and the distances for placement. These options allow you to offset the plate. Now click OK. For a column to beam connection, go back to the connection details and into the beams and columns submenu. Double click the appropriate thumbnail. Now select the column to connect the beam end which will show a green star to denote it is selected. Confirm and the connection properties window will appear. First you can set the basic parameters including the plate depth and size defined by tolerances from the beam this time. Again, bolt types and position can be defined. Two further options allow for packers and stiffness with variable thicknesses. The extension parameters tab allows you to increase the plate length beyond the beam adding in its own separate set of bolts whilst you can add in a haunch in the final tab. Again you can define length, depth and thickness. However, you also have the option of adding the haunch just as a fillet and the option of adding in beam stiffness at each end. Once defined, click OK and the joint will be added. Other connections such as parallel beam to beam connections and notch beam to beam joints can be added in a similar way with similar parameters. All connection parameters can be quickly changed by double clicking the joint. The joint will then be updated. Piece labels and individual part drawings for the hot roll structures can also be added. First select each of the profiles holding down control on the keyboard. Please note this can be done in both 2D and 3D, however the label will only be in 2D. The profile tab in the ribbon should automatically activate, but if it is not, select it. Now click build beams. Labels will then be added in the 2D view, so please switch to this if not already active. Now select the beam piece labels, right click and choose open panel drawings. In the next window, select the hot roll beam panel template drawing. Drawings will be created with a joint showing and dimensions added for each. Drawings and labels can then be removed by clicking the label and using the unbuild command in the panel tab. Alternatively, you could produce a single drawing for a number of selected profiles using the frame line function. For this, you must be in 2D. Now select the profiles and go back to the build beam menu in the profile tab, choosing the frame line command this time. You can then choose a direction for the viewing angle and pick a point for the frame line label. To create the drawing, again click the label, right click and open panel drawing. This time selecting the wall frame line template drawing. A new drawing will be created. Individual profiles will be given piece numbers. This concludes our video on the parametric hot roll tools. Thank you for watching.